So this video is uh, just to explain the 10 P's. So all I'm going to attempt to do in this video is talk about the 10 P's, why it's taking so long and so on. And I'm going to leave this video at the bottom of the email, bottom of the, lose net, bottom of the newsletter each week from now on. So that I don't have to keep referring to the same thing uh, and boring people with the same information week after week after week. It'll be here in its own video uh, until it's changed. When, when there's new information, then I will replace the video. That seems to be the more sensible thing to do. So that's what we're going to do. Of course, got a bit chilly now. I put my coat on. So one of the things that uh, we need to bear in mind, all of us, you, me, everybody, one of the things we need to bear in mind is how many of them actually disappear uh, by the thousand and, and, and why. Now, as a lot of people know, 50 peas, for example, come in a bag of 500 coins in a big bag, which is 250 quid. So it's a lot of money to lay out 250 quid and it's 500 coins. 10 peas come in a bag 100 quid, which is 1,000 coins. So when people are getting these uh, coins from the post office or, you know, people like me, for example, um, you've got a thousand coins a time coming out. So if you've got people at banks and people at post offices, which you do all over the country and they get access to the odd bag here and there, those odd bags add up and it comes into the tens of thousands. So there's an awful lot that are just not for sale, not anywhere, they're just in people's houses or whatever, you've got people sitting on them all over the country, you know, and, um, and that makes an awful difference to how many coins physically go into circulation. Now, when they do go into circulation, they go into circulation because businesses like your local fish and chip shop or your market trader or Tesco's or whatever, everybody has to get change uh, in order for their customers. So they get the change in, uh, they happen to get maybe new coins or whatever, bags of change, and they give it out. And as they give it out, they give it out to the public, you, and then you then go and respend that money and it, that, that's now a circulated coin. And then as people spend that money, it goes back into the shops. The shops uh, will cash up every week or every month and bank their cash. That cash then goes back off to the uh, main centres and gets all sort of tipped into a huge great vat type thing and all mixed up again and rebagged and uh, and then goes back out again. So that's how they end up in circulation and it takes an awful long time before coins physically are out there in circulation where you can pick them up in your change. So if you're wondering you know and 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 shouting explanatives at the wall wondering why you know in in over a year you've only found one a to z coin in your change or you've not even found one some people haven't even found any um you know these are the these are the reasons why it takes a long long time before they properly become circulated on top of all that um you've then got as well as all that difficulty, you've then got the actual mintage figures. So we've got 26 coins, 26 different coins, and none of us know at the moment what the mintage figures are on each one of those 26 coins. No one's going to know that until April. So if, if, uh, if the figures that have been bandied about are anything to be believed, then you're only looking at hundreds of thousands per letter as opposed to millions per letter. So, you know, it's, uh, and there's no point speculating really because the, the figures will be out soon enough and in another couple of months and then we'll, we'll know what the actual mintage figures are. Um, and then we'll all know the difficulty in being able to obtain them and which ones are going to be more difficult than others to obtain. Because no doubt they won't have minted the exact amount of each letter. I doubt very much. I mean, supposing they minted a million, I would doubt very much they'd mint a million of each one. They didn't do that with the Olympic 50Ps, so why would they do that with the 10Ps? It's more likely that there will be different figures all over the place, and one of those 10Ps is going to be rarer than the others, and one of them's going to have more minted than the others. 
that's what they, exactly what they did with the Olympic 50 piece, and I'm sure that's exactly what they're going to do with the uh, with the 10 piece. Now we probably go through, I would say, a minimum of 10,000 10 piece a week. Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good minimum. At least 10,000 a week. At least 10 bags a week we go through. Um, we've got somebody doing that <coughs> constantly, and uh, and our bags come from the post office. So, and the post office generally, if there's new coins to be had, the post office will get them. So, um, and every now, we've had probably about three brand new bags, full bags of 10 peas, or <clears throat> in a couple of cases, half bags of 10 peas. Um, so we do know that they'll come through at some point. Uh, it's just as and when they do come through. Um, and, uh, and of course, nobody knows that either. But as I say, we search through a minimum of 10,000 coins a week and in that 10,000 coins you could probably say at the moment what do we pick up maybe maybe picking up something like 20 letters a week something like that uh, if that and they're not all different so it's not like we can even put one set together every single week um, sometimes we'll search more coins than that we'll do 20 30,000 but uh, uh, and and you know the the figures don't get any better. It's only every now and again you might get a brand new bag. Now a lot of this is going to be down to the fact that where the money comes from in the first place, uh, you know it gets delivered to banks and building societies and post offices via Security Corps and things like that. People like that. So where the money comes from originally in the holding warehouses where it's all kept. Remember, there's going to be millions and millions and millions of 10 peas there's going to be like thousands of bags of 10 peas that are already waiting to go and get and go back into circulation as and when the banks and post offices request 500 quid here or a thousand pound there in 10 peas or whatever it'll all get delivered but of course it's all sitting there it's all bagged up ready to go because they're in advance so it's not like your a to z 10 peas you know, whatever gets minted this year gets minted and immediately goes straight out to the banks or building societies. It goes and it goes into these storage places and it, and, it, and it goes to the back of the queue until they've got rid of all the other ones, which is why only odd bags, that's my theory anyway. I mean, I'm not saying that this is actually what happens. This is just my theory. It's just based on logic and common sense. Wherever they get the money from, they must have loads of it already there. So anything new that comes in is going to go behind it, isn't it? So, in theory, this is my theory on why it takes longer even for these coins to come out. But of course, remember, go for another walk, remember you've got options um, for advanced orders that you placed with us. I mean, if you bought uh, for the prices that you probably paid for the advanced orders, um, it's worth waiting, or it's even worth saying to us, look, uh, I'll take... I'll take some trebles and quadruples and stuff like that. Just I'll, just any letters, it doesn't matter, and make up me 26. And maybe you, you'll go off and, and do some swaps or whatever. But even at the price you paid per coin, as it were, it's still worth doing that, in my opinion, because it's really cheap. You know, they're all uh, quite expensive on, um, on, on the internet at the moment all the sets. We are getting some BU sets in, uh, but that's a different product entirely. Um, however, I mean, if somebody wanted to pay the difference between what they've paid us and a, and a BU set, then that's also possible. Um, I don't know how many of those we would be able to supply, but but uh, we're, we're looking at that and we're getting some in. Um, and of course, you can have, uh, you can have the money recredited to your your account, uh, which we do in, in the form of, of the reward points, uh, and you just take them out at your leisure. There's no um, there's no date on those or anything like that, and you can just uh, spend it on something else. So we can do that, and if you take it in credits, then we'll we'll uh, credit you and add an extra 20%. That's what we do if we if if we have a problem with a coin and you have it in credits on the refund, then we'll add an extra 20%. So you've got that alternative as well. You've got the alternative of having just a, a mix of coins. Now, depending on 
which ones we've got in at the moment and right here right now as i'm saying this on the what date is it today 13th of february um <clears throat> 2019 so as i'm saying this today we've probably only got about five coins that i can do multiples of so you're probably going to get four coins of each letter and if you're one of the customers that's due a 50 percent well then you'll you will also get those same coins again in your 50 percent um however i have had people email in and say look i don't care just send i don't care if it's all the same coin just just send me i'm quite happy just send me the uh you know the number which would be uh, 26 if you bought a full set and you're not due a 50%, or it would be 39 coins if you are due a 50%. Um, we know that by the amount that was paid, uh, the, the, the people that are due 50% are the original customers that paid the original price. And uh, the people, when, I, when we reduce the price, obviously those people don't get 50%. So there's that option as well, and, uh, and that's open to you all the time. And all you've got to do is email logan at tgbch at outlook.com. That's T for Tango, G for Golf, B for Bravo, C for Charlie, H for Hotel. tgbch at outlook.com. And Logan, and put a subject line. Make sure you always put a subject line, because um, if it's not got a subject line, it'll probably get deleted. So in the, in the subject line, put uh, A to Z 10 P's. Um, whether you want to swap, refund, recredit, whatever. Remember, if you have a recredit, you get extra 20%. Um, so those options are also open to you, as is the option of upgrading to a BU set. Um, they come individually bagged in little plastic, uh, tiny self-seal bags. Um, yeah, so you've got those options open to you as well. Now, of course, when you sort of look at all the different reasons why it takes so flipping long for the coins to hit circulation, um, then, of course, you've got people like me, or in this case, us, uh, where you've placed advance orders, is we then have to scramble to find them, which is part of our job. You know, I don't complain about that. It's what we do. Um, but sometimes it can be easier than others like with the latest Beatrix Potter coins on one thing or another, and Paddington's and uh, the uh, People's Act and so on and so forth, um, they come out, we manage to get the bags of them, and we manage to be able to sit there for, you know, on and off for a few weeks, just non-stop posting out advanced orders. Uh, thousands of advanced orders we managed to post. But, but of course, that was because we managed to get hold of the bags. And uh, I have no doubt that we will get hold of the bags for the 10p coins, uh, but it's just a question of how long that's going to be um, and when they start letting them go. Because when I put my order in for the post office, for example, um, I've had the post office request new coins and, and they just won't send them through. They'll just send an odd half bag or an odd bag through now and again. So they're seriously trying to regulate them and they're holding them back. Um, why they would do that, I don't know. Maybe the idea is to get the country going, get everybody in the country going, looking for all these A to Z coins that are not really there because they've held them all back. You know, maybe that would be an idea. But there you go. So all of these are different reasons why um, it takes ages. Um, and, and, and remember, uh, our advance orders, unless it specifies that it's a BU uh, uh, product that you're buying, um, it generally specifies that it's, you're buying it from general circulation. So we can't even send it until it hits general circulation properly. And I, when I say properly, I mean properly as in uh, it, 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 they're available, which they're not a lot of the time. But, but that's what I mean by properly available. You know, we, we, we're able to get them in with an order. OK, so I hope all that helps. I hope that information helps. And, um, and I will only replace this video when, uh, when I've got more up-to-date information. Until then, I shall leave it at the bottom of every newsletter that we send out so that everybody's got access to what's happening about the A to Zs and, uh, and where are you on them and so on. And that way I don't have to mention it in every week's newsletter and uh, say the same old thing like a broken record. All right, 
so there you go just uh, otherwise if, if we don't hear from you just leave it with us and when we when we as and when we find them and we do make sets then we'll send them out but if you do want something else or you want to do the uh trebles and fourfolds etc and just have 26 letters or 39 letters then get in touch <laughs>